and he is accepting. I watched it last night. All they talked about after the game was I drove me crazy. All they talked about, well, you know, we, we got a couple of good bats late. We were within a run. You're playing a team that stinks. You're playing a team full of minor leaguers that comes in here and sweeps you four games. Well, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, we're in these games. In these games, the team is 46 and 73 when they came in here. They beat you four straight games, and they don't have anybody in the lineup. The Mets and Terry Collins have become completely accepting of this garbage. Well, you know, what are we going to do? Hey, you know, we'll just come out here tomorrow and try again. Thank God the Astros are here. We might be able to beat them again. They're 6-33 and 33 in their last 39 games. The Mets are 12-30 and 30 in their last 42 games. 12-30. and 30. Do you know they've lost? They have lost 14 of their last 16 home games. They have not scored more than two runs in a week. You have to go back to 82, which was the black hole of Met baseball. To see the last time that happened. This team has reached a low point that is unbelievable. That this season could become like this. And now you can see it. You know, the idea, the thing we talked about and we raved about about Terry Collins was that he was not accepting of this garbage. He has become accepting of it. Last night, he wasn't even angry after the game. Well, you know, we had a couple of good bats. Why, because Ronnie, Ronnie Cedeno fouled off a couple of pitches before he made out? Now that's what you're looking for? Today, Valdez Bean couldn't get a bunt down, blew a ball in center field in a nothing-nothing game, and did you watch as Baxter on a base hit got forced in second? If I saw that in a Little League game, I'd be upset. Baxter made a mistake, and he's forced at second base. On a base hit in front of him, he got nailed at second base. This is Major League Baseball. I don't know what he's thinking there. You're actually paying to watch this. So at nine over seven tremendous innings. Line to center the eight field. people who would add today, give them their money back. You gotta be kidding me. A triple for Tyler Colvin as Valdespin, who has not played a whole game. If I was the manager, I'd jump off the roof if I was my team. Costly miscalculation. And now all you hear is, oh, Harvey. Yeah, wow. You know, he struck out more guys than Nolan Ryan. Are you trying to tell me now Harvey's going to be Nolan Ryan? See, what the Mets are trying to do now is sell you that these pitchers, who until a couple of weeks you had never heard of, are now the reason to believe. When was the last time the Mets talked about McHugh before yesterday? Now, today, oh, he did something today that hadn't been done since Juan Marichal. He's facing a triple-A lineup. You forget one thing. They just got swept by a team that came in at 46 and 73. They didn't get swept by the Giants. They didn't get swept by the Nats. Colorado came in and pitched their starting pitches three innings. Was like a watching a spring training game today. They pitched their starter three innings, and the Mets didn't score a run. Well, you know, uh, we're in these games. Really? He's starting to sound like Kotite. This has reached. I'm telling you right now. If I, if I, were the owner. If I was Jeff Wilpon, if I'm Sandy Olsen, I would be afraid. I would be afraid to show my face in public if this was my team. That's how bad this has been now. Listen, we gave them credit when they deserved it this year, but I've never seen a team die like this team. They, they have guys in this lineup now who look like they don't even know what they're supposed to do in the box. Have you watched Murphy lately? Have you watched Josh Tolley lately? They're getting beat on 80 mile an hour fastballs. You gotta be kidding me. 
I'm not watching anymore because I get too mad. I can't take it. When I saw Baxter, did you, can someone explain to me what Baxter was doing today? How he got forced in second on a base hit in front of him? Listen, I know Valdespin has no idea how to play. Okay? I understand that. We understand that. He's not an outfielder. He can't lay down a bunt. Yeah, he ran into a couple of fastballs as a pinch hitter. That's going to be this. That is going to be his whole career. But you can see what the Mets are trying to do to you now. They are trying to make it seem that Seaver and Kuzman are around the corner. You know what? They're not. Maybe one of these guys is going to be a star, but I guarantee you they're all not going to be stars. The Mets have tried this nonsense before. Okay? Do I have to bring back the names? Let me tell you how many times they've tried this before with the kid pitchers. Try and pack. We're waiting. We're waiting for Generation K. We're waiting. We're still waiting for Bill Pulsifer, and I like him. We're still waiting for him. These guys, t in the last couple of days, they pitched against a Colorado team that is awful. That has nobody in the lineup. And Colorado came in and bunted, and you threw away bunts, and ran in a couple of gimmick plays, and made them all work, and the Mets made errors, made errors on the bases, made outs on the bases, never got a clutch hit, never scored a run, and you had the manager had the goal to stand there last night. You know what? Hey, you know what? We had a couple of good at bats late. Why? Because he fouled off a couple of pitches. Twelve and thirty, two and fourteen in their last sixteen games, and they just got swept at home by a team that came in at forty-six. And 73 with the worst pitching staff in the major leagues. The last time the Mets hit a homer, Cleon Jones was on the team. You got to be kidding me. I mean, how do you watch this? I mean, yeah, and I don't want to hear about these pitches. The first eight questions last night. Well, what would you think? Well, are, are you amazed? Are you amazed that he threw 97? Are you amazed that he should? They stink. You can't lose four straight games to the Colorado Rockies when they have a minor league team they brought in here. Can you imagine what the Rocky you can imagine what the Rocky coaching staff is saying? Could you believe we beat these guys? Can you believe our guys beat these guys? I got Mr. Med on watch here. He's so depressed. And the one thing that we said about Terry Collins and he said about himself is we are not accepting of an attitude that is losing of mediocrity of mistakes and now he has been beaten down to the point where he is completely accepting of their garbage he was last night he was today and that means total death for this team. I don't have to ask Terry anymore if this team has quit on him. I know it has. Here's Bob.